This is gonna be a long video, so get your water bottle ready. I'm probably gonna need some breaks. So, so many of you guys have watched hundreds of my videos. I greatly appreciate you. I am glad you're getting educated and empowered before you buy a house. So today I wanna to talk to you about what it's like to work with my team from start to finish. And the reason I wanna do this video is because a lot of times people are like, well, I don't know what's next or you know, what should I expect? And I wanna make sure that we have really clear expectations because I want you guys to be comfortable, I want you to be happy, and I want you to feel successful. And look, that is how 99% of our clients feel, but like honestly, does it really hurt for me to spend 20 minutes telling you what to expect? No, it's scary buying a house. It is scary. And you know, you don't know what to expect. And lender language is like a different language and it's anxiety, you know, it can cause a lot of issues. So I am the type of person that if I'm getting into something I'm uncertain about, I like to know as much as possible. So if you are like that, this video is for you. Now, if you don't wanna know anything and you just want magic to happen, cool, you can still work with us. Just don't watch this video. This is gonna be detailed. Okay, the process with the Jennifer Beeston team. Okay, so first of all, if you like the channel, like it. If you hate it, hate it. Subscribe if you haven't. If you've worked with us, please drop a comment. Did you, did you work with myself and Jen, myself and Sam, you know, Maria, Chadwick, CJ, Chrissy? Like, guys, it is a dream team. And that's the first thing I wanna say to you. Um, I am very visible on YouTube, as you can see. I am very visible in reviews. So. I take what I say incredibly seriously and every single person on my team lives by what I talk about. They believe the same thing. It's not like they live it because I tell them to live it. They live it because that's their view on how, how home buying should be. My team is made up to a large extent of industry veterans, people who've been in the mortgage industry for 20, 30 years who got fed up. They got fed up of working with loan officers that would lie, cheat, and steal. They got fed up at working with companies that treated them like trash. They got fed up of having to say to borrowers, oh, yeah, um, talk to your loan officer. I don't know why that rate's so high, okay? It, it is a team made up of people who actually wanna make a difference in the mortgage industry. And I strongly believe that. And the team I have right now, that's why I also like, you know, once in a while we'll get a little backed up where it takes longer to get a VA fully underwritten pre-approval, okay? Conventional, we've got same day mortgage now, so those are going out like this, but sometimes it's gonna take 10 days to get a fully underwritten pre-approval. The reason is I'm hesitant to add anyone else to my team because it is so hard to find people that are passionate about mortgages, that are passionate about customer service, that aren't just clocking in and out. The mortgage industry, um, it's not nice to people, guys. It is rough on all of these people. So you lose a lot of good people along the way. Um, and sometimes the people that stick around are not the people that you want near your clients. So I am very passionate about that. Sorry, I've got an itch. Okay, so what happens? Um, there's two ways to go about it. So let's say that you're like, Jen, I wanna buy a house in six months. I don't know where to start. Okay, so if you wanna buy a house in six months, a year, two years, three years, and you wanna do game planning, the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna get on the calendar. There's a link to the calendar in all my videos. Alyssa, Sandy, or sometimes myself are the ones taking those calls every single day. We have the calendar open just to help you guys plan for the future, okay? There's a lot of lenders where they're like, fill out an application. I do not want you to fill out an application until you're ready. If you fill out a mortgage application with us, it is a hard hit on your credit. I do not wanna do that if you're thinking of buying in a year. It doesn't help you. So get on the calendar, talk to the gals, we'll put together a game plan. That's number one. So if you're, if you're out a while, first step calendar, do not, I do not wanna hit your credit until we're within a three month window, okay? That's the first thing, very, very important. Um, and they'll talk to you about, okay, here's what you need to do, here's the steps, and they'll give you the link to the application for when you're ready. And of course, if you're like, well, what if I have more questions, then what? Guys, we're still here, we'll help you. <laughs> Just 
talk to Alyssa and Sandy again or text me. We're here to help you. Like we have so many clients where we've been working with them for three, four years to get them on the track to get home. I have 17 year olds reaching out to me who want to buy a house as soon as they're able to. We are here for the long run. We are not a transactional group. We are here to get you guys to the finish line no matter how long it takes. So that's that. Now, if you're like, Oh my gosh, Jen, I'm already in contract. I'm working with a lender that I hate. Okay, if you're working with a lender that you don't like, you're already in contract. In that case, I would say text me, okay? Don't call, text. I mean, you could call, but 707-478-0637, it's basically like putting up the bat sign, right? You're saying help, problem, urgent. And I, and I get that, right? Because I'm the one that if you're in an urgent situation, I can determine pretty quickly, is the lender you're actually working with trash? Should we be rescuing you? Are you in a good position? You know, are you screwed? I can do that in about five to 10 minutes, okay? So if you're already working with another lender and you're in contract, meaning you are about to buy a house and you are in a bad position or you think they're ripping you off or you're unhappy or you think you're about to get denied, okay, that is a text to me. Great, okay. Now, if you're getting pre-approved, you're like, Jen, we wanna look in a month or so or a couple weeks, we wanna get pre-approved. Great. In that situation, what I would say is you would fill out the mortgage application, there's a link in this. As soon as you fill out the mortgage application, depending on what state you're in, licensing is very important for me. I take it very seriously. So depending on what state, I've got two teams. They're licensed in different states. So I've got Jen and Missy and Jolene, and then I've got Sam and Stacy. okay? Jen has a lot more <laughs> licenses, thus the, thus the two gals with her. Um, they start cleaning up your application. The online applications never come over clean. We also request documents. Um, and then based on you know the documents we receive, we get you on the calendar as quickly as possible with Jen or Sam who are gonna go through your application line by line by line by line. Now, if your file is very clean, it's gonna go, they'll give you a pre-approval letter at that point, let you know what to expect with closing costs and um, <laughs> payment, monthly payment, um, and then we'll send your file for a full underwrite, right? We never want you waiting for the full underwrite if you don't have to, okay? Um, if your file's more complicated, I generally am involved a little bit quicker, um, and the reason is is that you know, sometimes it's incredibly complicated structuring. My team is really good at structuring, but at the same point, like, there's a reason why I'm here, right? There's a reason I do these videos, like, I know what I'm doing, okay? So if you are in a more complicated structure, um, I am looking at it. Any file that we think might be an issue, I am looking at it, okay? Now, you go all the way through underwriting. Awesome, now what? Well, that's when you and I spend 20 to 30 minutes on the phone going through everything, everything. I go through those closing costs line by line, talk about what's real, what's not real, what to expect. Um, we talk about payment. We talk about what the price point in your area is. We talk about what realtor you're using, or if you don't have one, do I know one? We go through everything, okay? And sometimes those calls, you know, like for instance, I had one recently with a gentleman, lovely guy, really qualified, he's not happy in the state that he's in. And I'm like, let's not buy here. What state do you wanna live in? Let's buy in that state. Let's get you there. Let's, let's focus on getting a job where you wanna live. Let's not buy in a state that you don't. And I actually have quite a few calls like that where even though you're pre-approved, the conversation may shift based on what your goals are, okay? That is my strong suit. My strong suit is looking at your situation from 100 miles away and saying, hey, you don't realize you're saying these things, but this is what I'm hearing and you wanna think about this, okay? Because buying a house is a very serious thing. So it needs to be approached as that. And I'm not a lender just looking for a paycheck. I'm a lender that ultimately wants you guys in a house that you are happy in. I want you to say, Jennifer stopped me from making the biggest mistake of my life. You know, that is who I wanna be. I don't wanna be someone where you're like, yeah, I told her I hated the state and she, she pushed me into this house. No thank you, okay? Now, 
Let's say you're in contract, your offer's been accepted, you know, we've already gotten you pre-approved, you and I had our big talk, I've already talked to your realtor, we're all on the same game page. Um, Because I do like to do that, I like to talk to everyone's real estate agent, because they do need to know, like, are you fully underwritten? Um, What does it look like? What can you do? What can't you do? That's what helps them write a strong offer. Without that information, they're writing in the dark, which is not a good thing. Okay. I know it's long. Should we take a break? Let's take a water break. Ready? (laughs) I know. It's bougie. Um, Okay. So you're in contract. Great. What to expect. Now, a lot of times I may have already locked you or Jen or Sam. And the reason we might have already locked you is sometimes we have really good rate days. And when we have really good rate days, we often will do what's known as our lock and roll. Our lock and roll is a product where we can lock your rate while you shop. Sometimes it doesn't make sense. It depends on what the market's doing. That's a big part of my job is watching the market and anticipating when it makes sense and when it doesn't, okay? So let's pretend like you're not already locked. The first thing we're gonna be talking about with you is rates. What are rates today? Do you want to lock, okay? I think every single loan officer, guys, if you're working with a loan officer and you're in contract and you're like day four or five and they haven't talked to you about rates and you're not locked, that is a red flag. You should 100% be concerned about that because locking is the most important thing I do as a loan officer. Locking and structuring. That's it. That That's it. Maybe some like talking people down, but that's it. Locking and structuring. Those are the two key things a loan officer does. Okay. So we've locked your loan. Um, your file gets pushed to processing. Even if you are fully underwritten, it goes back to processing because they have to have the address in there. They have to update everything. You're going to have your initial disclosures, which I've done other videos on. So please watch that. Um, and the processor will be directly reaching out to you for anything else they need to complete your file. I always suggest getting your homeowner's insurance quote the first week because we do need that for underwriting. So definitely start your insurance shopping sooner rather than later. Now, sometimes people go, well, Jen, aren't you gonna call me every day? Uh Uh-uh, no, I'm not. And it's not because I don't like you and it's not because I don't wanna be your friend. It's literally because my job is to lock you guys, structure the file, and realistically, if I'm calling you in the middle of the transaction, it's because something's wrong right? I get the bad job. (laughs) I get the job of like fun in the front. And then if it's in the middle or end, like it's not fun. Either the appraisal came in low. um, There's something wrong with the property that the appraiser called out. Something's wrong with your docs. There's something an underwriter stuck on, um, or there's a serious problem and the loan's blown up. Okay. Thankfully, I don't make that last call a lot, but sometimes we'll discover stuff like hey, you switched jobs in the middle of the transaction and now you're commissioned, that call is me. That is usually not someone else on the team having those serious talks. So if you guys are like, I wanna talk to you every day, it's not realistic because I would literally just be sitting there being like, hey, did you give Maria what she asked for? And you'll be like, well, yeah, I think so. Did she get it? I don't know, I don't have her email, right? (laughs) That's why it's important that you work directly with the person asking for the items. Okay, so the processors ask you for whatever you need, whatever they need. Let's say you got into contract May 1st, okay? Realistically, you're gonna be read through underwriting by May 7th, May 8th, May 9th, easily. If your close date's May 30th, there's literally gonna be two weeks, guys, where you have no communication. Now, can you reach out to us? Totally, you can reach out to us. But literally what's happening is we've already done all our work, so now we just, There's nothing we can do. We just have to wait now to get closer to closing so we can tie up the loan and close it for you. That happens a lot with our files, especially since I fully underwrite everything. I literally, my team spends half of your transaction not doing anything because there's nothing for us to do. So they're working on other pre-approvals, they're working on the beginning of other processes. You know, because of the closing timelines, often there's literally two weeks where nothing's happening on your file. So for my team, this is very normal because you've already been underwritten. We've already done our homework. We already did that, okay? Now, 
Uh, when you get close to closing, Chrissy on my team reaches out. She's my third processor. She's the final processor. She is the one person on the team besides me that every single person talks to. Yeah, Chrissy's like, Chrissy is my original processor from when I started at Guaranteed Rate. She is no joke. If you guys have worked with Chrissy, that woman has saved so many files where people, when like someone's made a mistake, like I bought a Tesla, Chrissy's the one that's like, okay, Jen, how are we gonna do this? And we like go back into, you know, 2015 mode where it was just us and it's kind of fun. It's fun. It's, it's, she's great. You guys will love her. So she gets everything ready for closing. We send loan docs to title. Um, title, the attorneys or escrow set up your closing time and you close. Magic right? It's supposed to be very easy and zero stress. Now, there's also a person on my team because you may be like, well, Jen, I want to talk to someone more than like, you know, just when it's necessary. Because that's the thing, like, it's an interesting balance. I generally go with, you know, our system updates you throughout the system. I do a lot of work to educate you in the beginning so that you're comfortable. And then we don't stalk you because there's no need to. I want you guys focusing on the house. Like, do you really want the house? What are the inspections really like? You know, I don't want to be like, hey, happy Tuesday. And you're like, what's wrong? And I'm like, nothing's wrong. I just want to say hi. What's really like, I'm sorry. If someone was calling me like that, I'd be like, what are you not telling me? Why are you calling me? You know, so it is normal um, to feel like, you know, okay with the fact that we're not calling you every day. We're going to call you when we need something. We're going to email you when we need something. We're going to email you when there's a status you need to know, but otherwise we will not be reaching out. And that's how it's supposed to be. If you're working with a lender who's calling you every day for something new, it's because they weren't properly prepared up front. If you're feeling like you need to call the lender every single day, it's because there was something missing in the education. Now, at the same point, sometimes people are just very anxious and that's okay. I don't want you guys to feel bad or to feel like, well, you know, I can't work with them then. I'm prepared for that. So uh, a couple years ago, well, really like 10 years ago, I met CJ. Uh, CJ was working for another loan officer. He was the gentleman's assistant. He was amazing. He was so good. And every time I talked to CJ, I felt like relaxed. I felt like there was peace in the world. I knew that I was being taken care of. I knew that if there was anything that could be done, he already did it. I felt confident. So it took me a long time, but I got CJ on the team a couple years ago. CJ runs the entire back end of every single loan, okay? Now, a lot of you guys may have worked with CJ. If you talk to CJ, drop a comment in, but CJ is so soothing that a lot of times we do have anxious first time home buyers. I get that. I'm anxious myself about certain things and I know how, I mean, look, let's be honest, CJ's on my team to calm me down too, (laughs) but he's great, you know? And in situations like that, CJ is happy to talk to you guys every day. He will literally just be like, hey, it's still good. You're still okay, you know? And he does it so well, whereas I'm like, dude, you're good, right? He's so lovely, so just know, When I was putting together my team and as I've continued to build my team, build, um, I am always thinking about you guys. I'm thinking about, okay, what if I have this personality or this personality or this personality? How can I make it all work? Because the bottom line is, I am not the right person for every personality. You know, if you've watched a lot of my videos, you know I have a temper. And I try to, I definitely have gotten better over the years, but there's certain situations where you need that calm, cool drink of water. And that's why I have CJ. Sometimes you need the spicy Jennifer, right? Like if there's someone trying to rip you off or if there's something going wrong with the real estate or you're getting bad information or the realtor's trying to take advantage of you, I'm really good at that. (laughs) That's my strong suit. You know, if someone's trying to mess with a veteran, 
I'm right here for that, right? And then when it goes to VA and you need that cool, calm, collected person, you got CJ. So I've really thought about this. You know, the personalities on our team, Jen Anderson's a lot like me. She gets a little bit spicy, but man, is she good. And she, we call her mama bear because she just will defend people. And she wraps around buyers. She has certain buyers where like, you know, it's taken three years to get them there. And she will just push and push and push to get them to their goals. And that's amazing. You know, we've got Sam. Sam has been on my team since right after she got out of college. She is probably the nicest human you will ever talk to, you know, and Sam doesn't have that fiery disposition. She's much more um, relaxed and, and chill. But if something's going sideways, she gets me involved real quick right? Because she knows I'll bring the spice. I'll bring the heat. Um, you've got Maria, who we've talked about in other videos. Maria and Sam. Sam, you know, is the assistant on those files. Maria is the processor. Maria is, you know, we jokingly call her the drill sergeant. Um, she's a, her dad was a Marine. She was definitely raised by a Marine. Like, a hardcore Marine. And Maria is an amazing processor. She's been processing loans for, I don't want to say 40 years, but 30 years, 30 years. And she's very good at her job. Former underwriter knows exactly what the underwriter is going to look for. You know, she has a strong personality. So I've paired her with Sam. So you have sweet and strong, right? You've got Jen who's spicy and strong. And then you've got Chadwick, who's actually Jen's husband, who's a processor that's been in the business forever as well. Chadwick is Mr. Chill, Mr. Relaxed. You know, Chadwick's going to ask you for what he needs and he's going to expect you to get it to him. He'll follow up, but he's not going to, you know, bark at you. Maria's going to, she's going to get you to the finish line, guys. Even if she has to drag you across, she will get you there. So, you know, I've, I've made a point to make sure the people you're working with are balanced out. Because that's the thing. If you have spicy, 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 mm, it's too much. It's too much. Like I recognize that. If you have chill, 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 you'll never get to the finish line, right? You really need the mixture of all those personalities. Um, and then you've got Chrissy at the end, who's both spicy and chill. She's like the perfect blend. So if you guys are working with us, I hope that you like the team. I just wanted to do this video because sometimes people are like, well, I don't know, you know, I don't know who this person is. Or, you know, what did someone say to me once that really bothered me? Oh, it's like they were trying to blame Sam for something that she didn't even do. It was like an online application where they had filled out the application and they were trying to say that Sam was like changing stuff, that she wasn't. Like, why would Sam change the spelling of their name? And, you know, the issue with something like that is like, look guys, I really care about you and I care about getting you to the finish line, which is why the people on my team, I honestly stand behind 100%, 100%. There is not one weak link on the team right now. And trust me, I've gone through a lot of people to get here. Um, on the front, you've got Alyssa and Sandy. Alyssa, so Alyssa's funny. I know this video is forever, but if you guys are gonna work with the team, you might find this helpful. Um, Alyssa's really funny. So Alyssa's a former client and she was the most annoying client ever. She would call me. The hours she would call me at um, were like midnight, you know, because I was on the East Coast. She was on the West Coast. But it was Alyssa, right? And I didn't even realize where she would play a role in my life. But for some reason, whenever it was her, I'd pick up because I knew she was very type A and she really needed these answers. And, you know, we've done quite a few homes together at this point. And I saw the opportunity after she had her children because she really wanted to work from home. And I'm like, oh my God, you need to come work with me. You are so bright. She is the reason that we're able to help as many people as we do. She took what was a notebook Okay. <laughs> I am terrible at organization. You know, when it comes to stuff like that, she organized the entire team so that we can help more people so that we could grow. That was all Alyssa, seriously. And I have her on the phone every single day because A, she loves helping people, but B, she is one of the brightest people when it comes to game planning. I have seen her game plan personally over the years. And what's interesting is once in a while, we'll get a review where someone will be like, oh, you know, your assistant wasn't um, like you. And I'm like, 
okay, you know, look, not every, people aren't gonna be like me. I'm, I'm an individual, right? Also, these videos are filmed at a specific period in time, like I'm not always happy or I'm not always spicy, you know, moods will vary. Um, Alyssa is very direct and to the point and sometimes people get really pissed off about that or, you know, she got a bad review once because we don't, we don't specialize in down payment assistance. And she said, hey, you know, I'm really sorry, but we don't specialize in down payment assistance, you know, um, you want to work with someone who's an expert in that, which I say in all my videos. She got hung up on, and then she got a nasty review, right? It's it's a little bit of a thankless job sometimes. Although I have to say, some of you guys are so awesome because Alyssa's helped you get on the path, and then you've got in a house, and then I see the review internally where you're like, Alyssa got me there, and then you guys took it home. So look, I stand behind Alyssa, guys. She is real smart, and she really does care about you guys getting in a house. She does not need to be doing this job. That girl, yeah, she does not need to be doing this job. She does this job because she cares, okay? So very important for you guys to know. Um, a lot of times, I, not a lot, but sometimes I'll hear, well, they didn't know the answer to my question. And I'll be like, I don't know the answer to your question. That's why a lot of times, like, look, we have this open line where you guys can ask whatever you want. Sometimes there's stuff we don't know. We've got to go to an underwriter. It's impossible to think that one lender is going to know an answer to every scenario. It's not realistic. And if a lender is pretending they know everything to every scenario, they're full of shit. It's not realistic. I do not know every single guideline in every single scenario. That is why I have underwriters that I can call and ask directly how they're going to view it. Because a lot of this stuff is not guidelines. It's how it's viewed. Alyssa, if she hits something she doesn't know, go straight to an underwriter and she'll get you an answer within 24 to 48 hours. It depends on the underwriter, okay? I strongly stand behind her, guys. Um, Sandy, Sandy's a newer addition to the team. Love her though, love her. So Sandy has been a loan officer. She's done CJ's job. She's been in the industry for a long time. She's been a processor. She's done everything. She knows every part of the loan. So when it comes to answering your guys' questions up front about the loan process, who better? <laughs> like seriously, who better? She's seen all the crazy scenarios, you know? She knows the more complicated stuff that you hit only if you're in a CJ type job where you're running files behind the scene. So I feel like I've got a really strong planner in Alyssa, right? And Alyssa will cheer you guys on to the end. And then I've got you know, seen it all Sandy, we'll call her that, seen it all Sandy, um, who's also really positive and wants to get you guys across the finish line. So I am very confident, guys, that I have the best people for you, you know, and I just want to make that so clear because it took me a long time to get here. And my goal always is to get you guys to your goal, period, right? Sometimes it's messy along the way. And by messy, I mean like you may have a goal and I may tell you, hey, look, you got to do this, this, and this. And you may get real mad at me. You might. You might go, I hate you, Jennifer. <laughs> and I'll be like, huh. But if you do what we say, I will get you to that goal. That's the key. If you have a goal, reach out to me, reach out to the team. We will get you to that goal. As long as it's legal, I have to say that because some of the calls I get, as long as it's legal, as long as it makes sense, we will get you to that goal, okay? So I know it was a long video, but I just wanted to talk about the team and what to expect and how some of this stuff works because I thought it would help you guys. Um, if it didn't, I'm really sorry, but at least now you know the main people you talk to. Are there some other people? Oh yeah, I mean, we've got Stacy, who's a sweetheart, Jolene, Missy, um, you know, they'll send emails, but you're not gonna be dealing with them as much as the rest of the team. But look, I really, 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 really believe that I've got this team put together to get you guys zero stress to the finish line, okay? And as we continue to grow, you know, there may be new people, but I am so picky at this point that is why often, you know, you'll see that a pre-approval might take a little bit longer than usual. But overall, we try to keep it fast and quick and guaranteed rates supporting us in that with the same day mortgage initiative. We're trying to get that over to government loans as quickly as we can. So we are here to support you guys. Um, as always, I am licensed in 48 states to do mortgages everywhere but Utah and Rhode Island. If you guys are in those states and you're like, ah, oh, Jen, I really want a nice loan officer I can trust. 
I have a friend and she's amazing and she's a great educator as well. So just let me know. I'm always happy to introduce you to my friends in the industry. I do not get referrals or kickbacks. I'm just trying to help you once again, get to your finish line. Thanks for watching.